everyone and happy spring. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie Vlogs and if you're new, I make twice a week videos here on YouTube lifestyle, but also some themed videos such as this one. So welcome to my getting ready for spring video. I have been waiting for this video for a while. The gray, no sunlight, very darkness was not very slight. So I'm very excited to be, you know, kind of getting away from that and enjoying the sun finally. You can see the sun is kind of actually coming out through the room right now. But anyways, this video is all about celebrating spring. If you're a seasonal depression girly like me, non-diagnosed, then you probably are very excited about the spring. So I wanted to make a video showing different ways that you can get excited for spring and also embrace the season as well. So I'll be sharing some recipes, some activities, some fashion things, and then a little bit more on how you can get excited for spring, celebrate spring, and just get right into the season. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. Something very spring in my opinion is flowers. And I truly, truly love flowers. I love having natural flowers in the home. I think it brightens up the space. So I was lucky enough to receive a beautiful bouquet from Spencer for, um, my subscribers so all thanks to you guys watching this video right now and if you're not subscribed make sure to hit that button if you would like to continue watching my videos anyways i did get a little bouquet and then i decided to get some more yellow flowers the other day at farm boy because i find that their flowers are really fresh and really cute so anyways i got some beautiful yellow flowers here from that yesterday so aren't these so cute i am going to go through my flowers right now and start making a little arrangement i don't really have experience making a bouquet like i'm not expecting this to be like the most beautiful bouquet you've probably ever seen in your entire life but i'm going to try and it's going to be fun anyway so i think this is a really fun activity you can do on your own you can do with friends even maybe each of you buy a bouquet and then you can all you know exchange flowers and stuff make a really cute unique bouquet i think that's actually really fun anyways so i'm going to start doing this and place them in here and then i'll chat with you once i'm done of a bouquet actually um, but it's my first time making it but this is kind of my idea for the front um, so you see there's lots of different pieces of there and then as you turn it you see that there's more pink and stuff on the sides also kind of looks cute from this angle too honestly the smell is so good it smells so fresh right now and the sun is beaming in right now so I'm gonna put these little babies I actually I need to put a little bit more water in here and then I'm gonna put them near the window so they can like you know have some chlorophyll have some sun um, so yeah, but this was a really fun idea and I highly recommend you doing it as well if you are looking for activities to get you in a little spring mood, but yeah. Anyways, now let's touch base on another way that I like to celebrate spring and it's very easy. All you really need is your phone. I think a really good way to celebrate spring and just have spring all around you is literally changing your case or your background. Your background's a very easy free way to do it. And I recently found out about this app called Shuffle. It's by Pinterest basically. And I don't know if I'm like the last person on earth to learn about Shuffle. So if I am, sorry, <laughs> I'm very late apparently. Um, but yeah, Shuffle, so yeah, Shuffle is very cool. Basically it's a little collage maker. So what I'm going to do with you and I'm gonna show you how is make a collage using Shuffle and then using it as my background. So essentially you click the little plus button down below and you're going to start something. You can change the background if you would like. See if we wanted to make it blue, for example. And then you can start just using cutouts. So there's stuff that's for you. You'll see there's like things that they think that you might be interested in, but you can also use the search bar and type in specific things if you want. So if you see anything that screams spring to you, like perhaps this, you click it, and then you can start placing it basically wherever you want. And then you can make a little phone background, which I did. So I'll share with you the one that I made. So this is the one that I made. And I'll also post a picture version of it because like, yeah, the camera on the phone is not the best way. But anyways, it's so cute, so fun. I've made other shuffles so far, like of just like spring inspiration, spring colors and stuff like that. So I don't know, I think this is really fun. And just having your background very spring and ready to go kind of makes you, I don't know, it's just the spring is in the air. I always change my background for the season. It's just another little thing that can make you feel like you're in the season even more. So just a little example. And you can also do that with your desktop background, your laptop, whatever it may be, iPad, you know, use the same one around or find different spring ones. You can also just Google images and find something for a background or look on Pinterest. Also Etsy, there's lots of great designers out there 
that um, that make some backgrounds that you can purchase or for a digital download. So that's another great idea as well. Now this next thing to do is an actually an activity and it's something you can really work on for a while. So grab your laptop or your iPad or your phone, whatever you like to do a little bit of work on, especially maybe even in Notion or Pinterest and then pause this video if you need to and go get that. What we're going to do now is make a spring like vision board and a spring bucket list or just a list of things that you want to do if you're superstitious and don't want to call it a bucket list like me. <laughs> I don't know what, but anyways, okay. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go on Pinterest and start making a new board. So here I am, I'm starting a new board called spring 2024 because that's the year. And essentially I'm just going to start pinning anything that I want to do this spring. So if I think of things I've done in the past or just activities that I've wanted to try this spring or activities that I want to do while there's sunlight, more sunlight out in general, these, this is the types of things that I'll be searching for. So as you can see, Pinterest kind of starts by suggesting some content, but then after, if you want to leave that, you can just add your own things by searching at the top, which is what I did. So when it comes to spring to me, I think of a lot of different things. I think of bright colors, floral, like I mentioned a lot, but also like actual florals. So flowers, picnics, perhaps reading in, a, in the park, just beautiful landscapes, relaxing. And I live in a, I live in Ottawa, if, if you don't know. Uh, Ottawa has a tulip festival every year, so we get a lot of tulips sent from Denmark every single year. And they're always put on display all over the city, and then also some farms have some as well. Uh, and I always go tulip picking uh, since I've been here. So that's an activity that I really look forward to every spring. And it's just so, so fun, and the tulips just obviously look gorgeous. Yeah, it's really nice and fun to try and make your own bouquet after, and the colors are just so nice, and it's a fun activity to do with friends, and. Yeah, and then there's also th other things that I like to do, like a lot of spring different meals. I think of berries, I think of healthy foods, and I don't know, really good drinks. And not that I don't really drink, and Spencer doesn't either, but I really want to get more into making like mocktails that are like good for you, like things with kombucha or things with like, I don't know, ginger that's really good for you and your health and stuff like that. So. All these things I think is really fun. So I think making this board can kind of help you, can kind of help you get inspired of thinking of what you're, you want your spring to look like. If you're ever like bored a spring weekend, you can always open your board and see like, oh yeah, you know what? I wanted to go and take a photo that looks like that, or I want to go do that activity actually. So things like that. Um, and then also you can just start pinning things, recipes you want to try out all this jazz. So anyways, I just think it's a really fun activity and I think it's a great way to start thinking about what you want to get done this spring slash what you want to enjoy this spring, especially with more sunlight <laughs> available to us. So aside from that, the other thing that I was going to mention is the spring things to do. So kind of looking at your board, after you've done that, you can get some ideas of things that you've pinned. So for example, I started writing down things that I've pinned, like go get flowers, do a picnic, read outside, read in the park, try a mocktail, decorate and bake a cake, things like that. So I don't know why, sorry, why I said things like that. It sounded like, it sounded like the uncut jams thing. You know, remember that with, anyways, okay, not, not the point, but yeah, I think start doing that. And then you can also just start brainstorming, researching bucket lists, <laughs> spring bucket lists as well. There are people that already have some. And I think that's a really fun activity because this is something you can really look at all spring and then just try to check things off. Also, I just made mine on Notion, but you can definitely take more creative, you know, liberty and do it on paper. I remember when I was younger, me and my friends, <laughs> when we were, graduate I think it was like the year going into grade 12 or something we made like a spring bucket list on like a poster board and all drew, like we drew on it all and it was really really fun and very cute so yeah, maybe you could do that um, or just notebook or if you have a bullet journal anyways all this to say there are many ways that you can do it um, but I think it's a really fun activity for you so again when it comes to spring I think of color I think of bright things and I've never actually done one of those like color testing things to see what color you are, but I actually think I'm a spring with these colors. So anyways, I wanted to touch base on clothing. Um, clothing, you know, if you're interested in clothing, awesome. If you're not, that's okay too. But for me, spring really screams floral, really screams bright. It's the time that my wardrobe really shines, I think, because most of my items are floral. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through my favorite pieces and then I'll share what brand they are in case you're looking for something similar. Now, I'm not sure if they're all available right now, but I will share the brand. And if they don't have the exact same thing, if you like this style, chances are they will have something of a style that you will enjoy. So let's go ahead and look at some of my favorite pieces. For reference, 
I live in Ottawa, Canada, so our spring kind of gets warm, but other, t it's really, honestly, it's a little like up and down. Um, so sometimes it's really cold, sometimes it's really warm. So I, there's a mix of things here, but let's go ahead and get started. So my first item real quick is this really cute cardigan that I have that's very, very spring. Um, I really like this. It's from the brand Glamorous, I believe. Yes, I got it in a small boutique uh, during my trip in the Valley of Nova Scotia. So uh, I just, I think this is so, so, so cute. I think it's cute over dresses. I think it's cute just with jeans and stuff like that. So I really hope to wear more of this and I think it's really fun. Okay, the next one, now I don't want to sound tone deaf because this one is a Kate Spade one and I recognize that that's expensive. And I actually did get this one on sale, but to be honest, it was still a little bit of a splurge. It was at least $100. Um, and this was kind of a gift to myself when I got my real first adult job and was it a smart purchase? Honestly, no. Um, but here, alas, here I am. And I do actually get a lot of wear of this out of this every summer and spring because I really, really like it. So again, very, very floral and it almost looks like a, a romper actually, cause this ties here. Um, and it's very, very cute. I'll try to insert some photos of me wearing the stuff that I'm showing you. This is super cute. I love this. And I find Kate Spade typically has like a very cute spring items, uh, very floral, very bright stuff as well. Moving on to two other brands that I think have a lot of cute spring clothes. Uh, this one is called Taylor. I got it at Winners, but they do have stores, especially in the States. Taylor will be easier for you to get. I absolutely love this blue color. I actually find that this color is the best color on me, which I'm kind of wearing right now. And I really hope to find more Taylor ones. This other one, and I also think Boho or Boohoo, however you say it. This is very lightweight. This one's a little see-through, I will say. I got it for my birthday because I had a Barbie themed birthday and I found that this was very Barbie dress. Alrighty, this one is another Winners find. So if you're in the States, Winners is kind of like home goods, I believe. Um, so I'm not sure if this is specific to Canada, but I found this beautiful, beautiful floral dress and it's very long, if you can see. And this is from the brand Autre Fille, so I believe it's a Canadian brand. All right, so my last two items are both kind of like in this lavender purple. I really love that for spring. I think it looks so beautiful on everyone. So I have this Cynthia Rowley uh, sweater cardigan, so I think it's really cute over dresses on, a, on its own as well. So they have a lot of nice clothes. I'm not gonna lie, this one's a little bit more expensive too, however, this is actual cashmere <laughs> and I actually got it on Winners, so it wasn't as expensive as it usually would be if you just got it on our website. I think it was like $40, which for real cashmere is actually a pretty good deal. And then this one randomly is from Reitman's of all places. I think I got it for like $10 because it was on sale and I think this is just such a cute, cute spring dress. It's a little short, has a nice little puffy sleeve moment and it has a lot of the colors of spring. So yeah, those are my favorite spring outfits. You will catch me frolicking in a field, going through the tulips in this, and I just think they're the cutest things ever, and I just wanted to share what I'm excited to wear this spring. Now the other thing that when it comes to spring fashion that I'll be bringing out to make myself feel even more spring this year is doing my nails. They look pretty bad right now, they're outgrown, like it's time. It's time for me to go to the salon, like they're super outgrown, so ignore that. Um, but unfortunately for this video, I couldn't get my nails done in time because my appointment's a little bit later, but let me show you what my inspo is for the spring nail situation. So I might have one or two sets for spring, but this is the set that I'm going for, which I just think is going to be very fun. I never used to get my nails done. It only really started with this set. But yeah, I think it really completes the look, especially now that I'm filming a lot and doing content creation as well. I find that my hands are in a lot of shots and like I never noticed that my hands were not cute before. <laughs> not that you need it. Um, I just had haggard nails because I never took care of them, which like that was a me thing. Your nails that are perfectly fine and not painted are great. Mine were gross. So anyways, but yeah, I think that's a really fun, cute idea that you can add a little spring touch. Also, you can do it yourself if you're, if you're at all creative slash willing to learn, feel free. My friend does hers and they look amazing all the time. I'm very much not good at it, so but yeah, I think that's another fun way to express yourself, you know, fashion-wise with that. And you can also do a lot of jewelry and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, just a little, an extra little thing for spring. Alrighty guys, now let's make some spring cookies. So we are just making a chocolate chip cookie basically with mini eggs. So the recipe that I'm using is from Joy Food Sunshine. So you're starting out with your dry ing ingredients. We use flour, we use baking soda and baking powder. And then you mix that up all together. And then you have to cream your butter a little bit with the two different sugars that we're using. We're using white sugar and brown sugar in this recipe. So yeah, it's, it's a little sweet. And then of course our vanilla, and then we add two eggs and we beat it together 
together. And what makes this very spring is the mini eggs. Now I know you almost have to take a second mortgage out for uh, to buy these bags because they're so expensive for some reason. And then you mix it all together, you add your mini eggs, and then you'll just crumple them up and make them into cookies. And then you'll see I add extra pieces on the top. This is honestly just for a little bit more chocolate and also for the aesthetics because when they're done, you can see the bright colors peeking through and they're so, so, so cute. I love this recipe. You can really use any chocolate chip cookie recipe that you like, just sub for mini eggs, but I think it's adorable and a great gift for someone that you love. Alrighty, now we're going to make a spring drink, which is a strawberry matcha. This is super, super easy. So essentially you just make your ice matcha like you usually would. This is the matcha that I use. Then you pour it over ice and then you just make sure you get some strawberry milk and froth it. After you froth it, pour it over and you're left with a very cute, very spring drink. And honestly, it's very delicious. If you like it a little bit more sweet, I highly recommend adding a little vanilla syrup. It doesn't need it though. And maybe you can add a little strawberry on top if you have some. I don't at this moment. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute and it's super delicious. Well, that's it for my spring video you guys please let me know down below what you're most excited about for spring i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you don't mind and thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video Bye. happy spring